Good evening and welcome to the Herculaneum 2020 Senior Parade. Ray Halbrook here for live stream STL here. We are here with Renee Richardson, who's getting a little blown away, get a little hair, hair blown away, but that's okay. Uh, how you doing? I'm, I'm going to hold down the fort and hope that we don't get blown over. We got a little bit of wind going on here, but um, thanks so much for watching tonight. And just wanted to catch up with you just real briefly uh, on uh, how things have been going to the, uh, you know, the setup for this, the uh, uh, the the entire uh, you know process of planning this and whatnot. Can you tell us a little bit about what, how that's been going? Yeah, it went pretty easy actually. I feel like uh, we have a really good community here. Strong. We have really good staff. Right, right. Awesome, awesome. And I've got Zach Bone over. He is, uh, there he is. How about that guy? Where should I look? Look into the camera. <laughs> you got a face for radio. We know. And uh, we're, we're just, uh, we're, we're, we're getting ready to start it right now. And so we're going to fire it up. And so the base of this, kind of how this goes, guys, we're just going to try to call off as many names as we can and uh, kind of go from there, you know, just to honor these kids and, uh, you know, we're going to describe, describe as much as we can, say hi to whoever. Zach, if you're able to grab some folks and just uh, say, hey, how you doing, blah, blah, blah. Whatever you need, you know, as far as uh, just picking up some content here. So we're going to keep it easy. That's right. That's right. Here we go. So uh, we are going to, I'm going to get myself up here. And uh, Curtis, you can go ahead and move. We're going to go ahead and get things started here. Turn the music back up a little bit. There you go, I like it. 
Bring it. Right on. Zach Bone getting the scoop from everybody. That's right, I like it. Alright, let's check it out. About what? That's right, that's right, absolutely. Don't like it. Yeah, absolutely, there he goes. Set up. wrap this up real quick here and that it, was so quick so quick you know yeah the pace car definitely uh, brought them through there yeah not slowing down for anybody right the, the pace car of course was the fire truck yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah matt lickenstein over here come on turn around at least to the to the yeah, camera here, here and uh well. we've got the whole crew so i just want to ask yeah sure Ms. richardson your thoughts on this class of 2020 i mean you've worked with them you've applied for scholarships, you've been their counselor for a couple years. 
you know, you've seen a lot of classes come and go. What's your thoughts on, on this one that's saying goodbye? Yeah, they're a good group. I was, uh, like everybody else, certainly not ready to say goodbye to them in, in right. March. Um, I was a little sad by that because they are a good group. And uh, these last two months of, the, of any class of senior year are always their funnest. And when they really come out of their shell and mature so much as they're ready to move on. So I miss that. But and, and, when it, and when it stopped, it stopped suddenly. year definitely what, what happened with them. it was but they stayed good I mean you know they stayed they stayed in contact with us through email and they still did their scholarships like they were supposed to met me when I asked so they're a good group well, a lot of them were still doing a lot of right. a lot of work that you didn't see or we didn't see a lot of teachers were communicating with different methods they all they all had their own either websites or tools or things programs that they use to communicate with with their students and a lot of them were still cranking out work some were doing some credit stuff you know maybe they were shy a couple credits and they were working right till the end right how many graduates do we have for this 2020 year i think it's about 90. okay yeah, so i don't know the final count but it's, it's about 90 and uh, i you know i've been here a couple years now so i've i've seen like i've seen these kids now a couple years you know i see them in sports when they were junior and then then as a senior and things like that and uh it just felt very sudden to me in the, in the stoppage um, I'm glad we were able to do things like this because it's important and uh, you know being creative to find ways to, to celebrate what they have done and uh, hopefully you know they, they move on to great things in the future whatever that will be. They will. Absolutely. They, they, they all got plans and uh, looking forward to see what they do. Yeah and I mentioned to you earlier there's there's a few there's a handful of them I just I'm so curious as far as where they're going to be five years from now because they they have such a great tool set leaving the Dunklin School District mm -hmm. but it feels like whatever they set their mind to, they, they can achieve it. So it'll be really neat to follow these people. And, you know, maybe one day one of them will come back and stream something for back. us. Yeah, right. So, so, so an alumni will start a, a small business, like, you know, live stream SDL or hey, something. And, right. You know, right. just do something really cool like Herculating that. Herculating bread. Yeah. Born and bread. <laughs> there you, there you go. go. Got it. Um, so final thoughts, I guess, here. We'll wrap things up real quick. But uh, some, some things you might want to leave your seniors. Uh, sometimes and I'm still not. I get yeah, a little, right? I'm not, and I get a little teary-eyed sometimes because I miss seeing them all. And um, you know, this group just really are a good group of kids. They have great personalities. They make me laugh yeah. a lot, and I love it. Um, so I just wish them the best of luck, and I know that they still get to have a graduation for them, and, um, yes. and they'll be on their way. I right. mean, so it goes fast. Matt, they, these students, um, particularly this class, I'm not sure why, or maybe I was just more aware of it. Uh, they have a lot of grit, they have a lot of determination, they have a lot of persistence. I've seen them in uh, different uh, exactly. arenas, whether they're they're you know trying to uh, achieve a certain score on an SAT, or whether they're on a, you know the basketball court struggling or whatever. And um, you know we didn't win any state championships or anything this year, but. Boy, it, just the, the the grit that they had as they competed, and, and if they carry carry those qualities with them moving forward, it's going to be it's going to be not only great for them, but it'll be it'll be great for us. Right. Because as we all know, teachers in your school district growing up have such an impact as far as where you are and how you think about things, and how you move forward, and it's just a real. I think they just really got a great foundation here, and uh, taking that determination, the future to accomplish goals, and move forward. I think it's going to be great. I Perfect. Think so. I think it's going to be win. a win-win for everybody. Awesome. Awesome. Well, congratulations to the class of 2020. We're going to wrap it up here. I say so long from Livestream STL. Have a great evening.